I'm going to go over the steps to replace a standard outlet with an outdoor rated GFCI. If you have outlets outside, they should be GFCIs or protected by a GFCI. Make sure you turn off the electric to any circuit you're working on and double check it with a tester to make sure it's off. A shock under the right conditions can be deadly. Because we're working in the Chicago area, many homes have conduit where the electrician is pulling wire and the conduit, the metal conduit, is connected to a metal box and it's grounded all the way back to the service panel. To verify that this electrical box is grounded, I'm going to take a multimeter. I'm going to put one probe on my hot wire, in this case it's the black wire, and one probe to the metal box and you can see it's showing 120 volts, so this electrical box is grounded. When you're connecting a GFCI, you're gonna have one or two cables. In this case, we have one cable, a black wire and a white wire. The black wire is our hot, the white wire is our neutral, and the box is grounded all the way back to the service panel. In this case, I'm only going to be using the line side of the GFCI. You have a line side with a brass and a silver screw and a load side with a brass and a silver screw. If I had four wires plus a ground or four wires and my box is grounded, you would be using the line and the load side. In this case, we just have to worry about the line side. When you're purchasing a GFCI, make sure you look at the rating of your breaker or the fuse. In this case, we have a 15 amp circuit so I'll be putting in a 15 amp outdoor rated GFCI. If you have a 20 amp circuit, you can put in a 20 amp GFCI. You never want to put a 20 amp GFCI on a 15 amp circuit. It could potentially be a fire hazard. I'm going to be connecting my hot wire, in this case the black wire, to the line side with the brass screw, and that's the side with the narrow slot. I'm going to be connecting my neutral white wire to the silver screw that's the side with the longer slot. If you're wrapping a loop underneath your screw terminal, wrap it in the clockwise direction. As you tighten it, it'll close down underneath the screw. If you wrap it counterclockwise, in some GFCIs, it'll actually push it off. If you have a bare ground or a green ground wire, you're going to connect it to the green ground screw. Now you can fold your wires and screw it into the box. Once the GFCI is in the electrical box, you can turn the electric back onto the circuit. Many GFCIs will come tripped, so you're going to need to push in the reset button, and if it's wired correctly, it will reset, which it just did, and now we can check the electric. When you're installing an outdoor rated outlet or a GFCI, the new code says you have to use an in-use cover. This will allow you to plug power cords in and close the cover. I like a style like this. It has a waterproof gasket and the cover can open in two different directions. And this just screws into the electrical box.